So here we're using a fraction to try to find a part of a whole. And what we need to do is figure out what the whole is that we're trying to break up and just times it by the fraction we want. So looking at this problem, Thea was given $60 in birthday cash from his Nana. So 60 here is the whole amount. This is what we're trying to split up. He spent a quarter of it on ice creams for he and his best mate. So I guess the question would be how much were the ice creams? So we need to find what a quarter of 60 is because he spent a quarter of the $60 on those ice creams. So 60 is the whole and we're just going to times it by the fraction. And plugging this into our calculator, we get $15. So he spent $15 on ice creams. And we can go further with this problem, so taking it to a more advanced word problem, continuing on, he spent four-ninths of the remainder on a movie ticket. So from the $60, he's spent 15 on ice cream. So what's left after he's spent 15 on ice cream? 60 minus 15 gives us $45, which he's got left after ice cream. So that's what we're going to use here. He now spent four-ninths of that $45. So 45 times the fraction of 4 over 9 to figure it out. So he spent four-ninths of the money left over after the ice cream. And in this case, it is equal to 20. So he spent $20 on a movie ticket. And after that, he decided to save half of what was left and keep the rest for the next weekend. How much did he save? So first off, $20 on the movie. And then we need to think, well, if he spent $20 out of the 45, so that's 45 minus 20, he's now left with $25. And of that $25, he's going to save half of that. And well, a fraction for half is one half. So what's half of 25? That's 25 times a half, which gives us 12.5. And since we're talking about money, we'll call it 12.50 instead of 12.5. So 12.50, he'll save, and he also keeps 12.50 because half is evenly split for the next weekend. So again, when you're trying to find a fraction of something, you just take the whole thing and times it by the fraction you're looking for. And keep in mind when you carry on with a more advanced problem to think about, well, what's been taken away, what's left, what are you actually finding your fraction of? In this case, we spent $15 on ice creams, then we had $45 left. So of the $45, four ninths he spent on a movie for $20. So after $20, he's down to $25. And then he decides to say half, save half of that. So 25 times a half is 12.50 for him to save.